Are we looking at our new boat, Chad? It might be. <laughs> it's a lot of boat. It's a lot of boat. It's a pretty boat. Yeah, it is very pretty. The live well's huge. There's two of them actually. There's yeah, one to, in that corner there. I'm about to grow longer arms. I won't even go reach the bottom <laughs> of that one. My T Rexes. <laughs> <laughs> That'll be upside down in there. Uh, well, today we're going out with the guys from Sunray. We're gonna do a sea trial and then we're gonna go off in the 40 foot Stamus and do a little offshore fishing. So we're just waiting on them. Are they late? Oh yeah, they're late. Of course they are. They're late. We got a 40 mile run. <laughs> they're coming by boat all the way from Bay Pines Marina. So we're, we're, we're patient. We're patient. For what, lunch? Fishing, no. I'm, I'm almost shaking, I'm oh. ready to go warm. The, the reason why we're looking at this particular boat is because Pork Chop here has uh, gotten a fascination with offshore fishing. Am I, am I correct? Am I right? That's fair. Because <laughs> now that's all he wants to do oh, and I told him. Are. That's not them. It is. It's Where? Oh, there, there it is. So I told him, I said, well, I said, look, if, if you've got this infatuation with offshore fishing, we, we may want to look in a different direction. So that's kind of what we're doing now. I'm pretty sure we could take all four viewers fishing in this all at once. <laughs> Wouldn't have to wait. Yeah, it would be nice. I mean, we could take extra people not being in each other's way. It's even got a table up front. For lunch? For lunch. Well, folks, we know this is a different view. <laughs> sure. Me on my tippy toes? <laughs> Sucks being short, Chad. That's pretty sad. I buddy. can see the bow. The only good thing about this boat is the console is wider than me. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> yeah. Yes, it is. Usually, I got half of my body getting hit by wind, mm -hmm. rain, pelted by fish. Well, scales. we're gonna uh, we're gonna put a full enclosure like this on on the 392. It makes a big difference. I mean, they, you know, I've been through this boat quite a bit, and it's. It's very well thought out, laid out. That's that's his next big item that he's taking care of on this. He wants that drop down so yeah. he gets a full breadth of the windshield. We did is we went ahead and, and we went out on a sea trial with um, with Sunray Marine and we took out the 31 Adventura Stamish and um, it was this thing doesn't make a noise it rides like a flipping dream it gets um, about two miles per gallon at 32 miles an hour it's really it, it really runs and rides great uh, very impressed with the build they've been around for a long long time it's a very impressive boat has tons and tons of storage extremely happy with the ride um, it gets up on plane quick flattens out it's got a huge console it's got huge live wells it's got a live well in the back there It's got a huge fish box, which is in here. It's got a huge live well here. I mean, this thing is mammoth. I can hold all kinds of bait in this thing. Fingers clean. Has a sink. Combing bolsters, has storage under the floor, storage here, storage there. It has a huge cabin. It actually has um, a bathroom in it. You can't see it, but it has a bathroom with a sink. It's got speakers. 
inside here. So you have cup holders there. You have storage here. You have a huge anchor locker. But what's nice is it will hold a trolling motor. So, and that's probably what Chad and I will get. Well, not probably, we will get. Um, but overall, very impressed with this, the ride of this boat. <clears throat> We're gonna make a, make plans to go up and talk with Stamus, go up to Stamus, tour their factory. And one nice thing too, it has a bent seat back here, but this, this hatch here opens up and it gets right into all your pumps and everything else. So it's very well thought out boat. Fingers crossed, we'll see what happens. We got a lot of negotiating to do, but now we're gonna jump on the 40 foot Stamus and go offshore and do some hog fishing and whatever else we can catch. So let's get to it. 